Bonjour, this is Stephanie Kwame from the Cat Academy and I hope you're ready to have fun with uh, objects today. We are going to be using the first project that we worked on. Uh, if I want to know the square footage because we know it's very very small, I can go to zones. Zones are used for facilities planning. You can find out, you can identify air conditioned space, non air conditioned space, how many units are rented as opposed to how many aren't for uh, real estate. So there's lots of great uses for uh, the zones. But let's zoom in here and see how much square feet we have in here. And it's 506, very, very small. So we need to make a very efficient kitchen area. It's going to uh, take up this area right here. <clears throat> so I'm going to go to objects and a fast way to find what you're looking for is instead of going through all of the folders is go to find library parts and then you can just put in the beginning phrase like cab for cabinet and say find. Let's head down here and um, I like this corner cabinet. Now if I look at this little corner base cabinet. I want to put it right in here. And this is the genius of this program is that you can rotate things into place and have them with an insertion point and have them ready for insertion before you leave the program, before you leave this uh, particular area. And to me that is very efficient. Whoops, one more, two more. I rotated it the long way but you get the idea. I want to put this in that corner and that represents the insertion point. So that will be perfect. So I don't need to do things after the fact. I can just say OK here. I can select that point. And let's go into a 3D perspective and take a look at it. You saw kind of a preview of what I was working on. And it looks really, really nice. Fits well in there. Let's go back to the first floor and let's continue this on. Let's say that. Now what I would like to do is put in right next to it a dishwasher. That's an efficient use of that. The dishwasher then ally would align here. So if I take this and whoops I'm not doing a very good job. Align it like this. We should be ready uh, to insert that. The alignment should be correct. So I say OK and let's come down until we see a check and we're right next to that to our sink and it aligns perfectly. So again quick and dirty way to enter stuff always accurate. Let's um, do one more thing. We need shelving or we need storage. I need always lots of storage. So let's find a little uh, cabinet for storage. Let me move this over a little bit more and let's use there that one okay that one has the correct alignment for lining up here I just need to change my insertion point to this point here and come down here line up pick and voila and if we want to look at that let's go ahead there we go let's put some uh, cabinets above so we can store some um, dishes and that sort of thing. Going back to objects, let's search for a little corner cabinet. And if you can get this concept, uh, that's wonderful. Uh, for some reason it's a difficult concept for people, but if you understand it, it's going to make your life easy. It makes uh, inserting things quick. If you know the angle that you want to go, you can actually uh, type it in here and rotate things by angle. I just got rid of our um, object. So we uh, put in the angle and now the insertion point is good because it's going to be a, ca a cabinet over uh, this sink. We say OK. We go and select that point and now we have a overhead or we have a working cabinet there. And I accidentally put one in over here. So if I want to change anything at any time, I go to the arrow, I've got the magnet, it identifies it's that offending little cabinet in hyperspace. I hit the delete key and she's gone. Okay, let's go back to objects and uh, let's put uh, this cabinet along there also. So let's change the alignment 
up to here. Let's do our insertion point here and we are ready to rock and roll. I say OK and uh, come to the edge of this pick and then we take a look at this and there we have it. There are a lot of things that you can change about uh, anything in this program and uh, if I wanted to change something about the cabinetry in particular we could go into the edit mode here in 3D as well so I'm going to select this cabinet, this cabinet and uh, actually that's the only cabinets I want to select. Let's go up and see what damage we can do to them. What I would like is I would like to put an interesting door on my uh, cabinet and I could change the material as well but let's put in this door. We like that. So the object that I, what I'm trying to uh, put across, the point that we're trying to put across is that come up here and check out uh, the options that you have and um, you'd be surprised at what you can do there. Like for instance now if I go to two, actually I want to go to the um, cabinet counter and I want to put on a backsplash. I'm going to put on a six inch backsplash because we didn't have one before and I'm kind of messy so that's the first thing I'd put in a kitchen. And now who wants to look at the sides of this? We need to make all of the cabinets have uh, nice wood on the ends, not necessarily the, one, the middle one. So notice I do go up to this little ribbon. I can click on the, the object there and now since they're all selected anything I do would apply to all of, all of the objects. And uh, what we want to do work with is panels. And we're going to put on a left panel, a right panel. Uh, we're not seeing the rear but I'm going to put them all on just in case. I could actually change the um, wood type here if I wanted to as well. And now I ended up putting the end panels on and somehow erase that backsplash. But uh, you kind of get the ideas. Well, I'll have to go up and figure out why the backsplash uh, disappeared from there when we did that. Let's say that we wanted to add material. So let's ch select these cabinets and go up here and it could be that the when I put that panel on the back or something it didn't have room and it was like a uh, personal issue there but um, what I would like to do now is change the appearance of the counter by having a lovely let's see what color is lovely to us a lovely black marble counter and now if I go over here I do have that so um, let's check here and see if we can fix that issue with the um, backsplash on that counter I'm sure it still ca has the backsplash we'll go up here to um, actually we want to go to uh, counter and it does have the backsplash so I think it I'm thinking it has something to do with uh, putting on all of the edges that we did and um, so if I go over here to the panels and let's say we'll take off that would be a right panel and it just might come back so that's the issue there well, let's uh, go back to a, a 2D look at this. Many instructors are upset with this. I'm not upset, but it, it, when they are uh, printing out construction documents, you wouldn't typically show the cabinets in this method. So that can be fixed. Let's go ahead and select uh, our cabinets. I do shift to add so that I have them all together. I think we've got all our cabinets. Again, going up to that little chair, it's amazing what you can do up here. And uh, what we want to do is 2D representation. And you can see all the, if you could spend days looking at all the objects that you have. But uh, what we want to find is edge visibility in 2D is both an OK. And uh, that will make. Uh, 
drafting instructors uh, very, very happy. This, of course, in objects has labs, sinks, electrical, mechanical, has everything. But the purpose of this is to show you how to insert an object and, you ins and how you can uh, rotate before you insert the object. And you can insert them quickly and easily. I'm going to leave this with a fun, fast rendering. Since we're on the inside, it might not, we might not have lighting, but let's uh, play with that. And again, the CAD Academy is an educational pre-engineer, pre-architecture package that uh, it not only is it a great package, but it's lots of fun, as you can see. Uh, I find architecture and engineering very, very uh, uh, interesting because we all have design in our DNA, I think. So if you find this uh, useful, please let me know. Uh, you can find uh, the um, CAD Academy at www.thecadacademy.com and we're also on Facebook. Uh, you can do a search for the CAD Store HQ and it will bring up some of these videos. Thank you so much and I uh, leave you with uh, au revoir à demain.